This is part four of my Warzone series, and in this part, I'm going to be going over the box set Fury of the Klansman. Now, I have everything set out here that comes with Fury of the Klansman box set, and this uses different rules from the regular Warzone series. The regular Warzone series uses uh, D20 dice as its base dice for the game engine, and this uses a specialized set of D6 dice, which I'll be going over, and this set is very similar to the new Mutant Chronicles game that's coming out here in 2008. So I'll show you those and give you a closer look at the miniatures. Okay, so the Fear of the Klansmen box set comes with three squads of Klansmen. We have these blue guys right here and some brown looking dudes and some green guys. And then it comes with five sets of Necrons. There's blue, red, black, yellow, and green. Now these have all been painted, so they don't come like this. They, When you get them, they kind of look like regular stuff that you would get at like a toy store, and you can paint them up. These are painted, but it's not like Warhammer quality painted. Now here's the Klansman um, stat sheet. And it's basically like there's three different types of guys. You got your leader, which is your chieftain, a regular guy, and then a guy carrying a giant machine gun. And there's your stats. See, you roll these certain types of dice depending on what kind of action you're going to do. And here's all the different types of actions you can do and attack bonuses and all that stuff for the clansmen. And then this is the stat card for the Dark Legion. There's only two types of Dark Legion. There's your Centurions, which are your leaders, and your Necromutants, which are your regular guys, and then the types of dice. Now, here's the types of dice that you roll, and the difference is, is these are the ones that have the least amount of um, stats that are going to come up. There's only two hits on this, and the rest are blank. And then the red ones are a 50-50, so you got three hits, and three misses and then this one has four hits going around and two misses and that's basically um, the reason why you would use the different color coded dice so that you have different percentages of your successful outcomes and which coordinates here and it's, it's pretty simple once you get used to it um, but it's not compatible with the rest of the stuff which kinda sucks but um, well, it's all right. Here, so here's Fear of the Klansman. Here's the rule book. Here, it basically goes over all the rules, and advanced rules, and it also has your um, different types of missions that you can use, different scenarios in the back, and how to set up your maps so that you can carry out these. And then there's also some counters in here and some bridges and terrain features. Okay, so that's the box set, Fury of the Klansmen for Mutant Chronicles. Um, I don't like the fact that this one has totally different rules from the rest of the series, but it does come with a ton of the figures, and you can use those figures and use them with whatever system you want and you can play with up to eight people at a time with this because there's eight different squads and they have it set up to where each person can run their own squad and it's got plenty it's got everything you need to play you don't need anything other than this so uh, check it out and thanks for watching